Hey everyone, I'm Steph, I'm the Secret Slob. Welcome to week number two of March Mega Motivation. This week the theme is my organized home tour. And that's a bit of a problem for me because my house isn't really that organized. It's very nice and decluttered and I keep it pretty clean, but when it comes to organized bins and spaces, I have some major home edit envy. So instead of doing an organized home tour, this week I thought I would tackle some of those spaces that just seem to get out of control really fast, get some bins in there, get everything nice and organized, and just make it look a little bit prettier. So if you're looking for tips on how to get started organizing on a budget, stick around. This video is going to be super satisfying. So to start, I picked five places in my house where things tend to get really disorganized pretty quickly. I made sure to measure every drawer that I was planning on organizing and then I headed to the dollar store with my measuring tape and figured out exactly which containers were going to work for me. The first drawer I'm organizing today is a little art drawer that I put together for my kids. Now normally I kind of try to stack everything in here neatly, but it just gets totally out of control and as you can see, it's only been a couple days since I last organized this and it's already a total mess. I found these four really cute little baskets in the summer section of my dollar store and I thought I could divide everything up into painting, drawing, their stamp stuff, and then coloring. I also grabbed these snap lid food containers to put all their pencil crayons, crayons, and markers in. Even though they were already separated and in their own containers, these are a little bit better because they all have lids and also everyone in my family can open them except for this guy. One of the biggest problems we have with crayons is my baby dumping them out, so this will solve that problem too. Now this place is organized, my kids can open the drawer, get the supplies they need to start their art projects, and also they know how to put it away themselves. Super win. Since I was on the topic of art, I figured I would also tackle my little craft drawers. This is a cupboard in my TV room where I keep all of my craft stuff. I don't do a ton, but I like to work on some cross stitch sometimes, and I also have a happy planner. And as you can see, I'm keeping my cross stitch stuff in a diaper box right now, so it's probably time for an upgrade. I grabbed these really cute locker boxes from the dollar store. They were only $2.50, and they're the perfect size for these cupboards. So I separated my cross stitch stuff into one, my happy planner stuff into the other. I can put them on the top and suddenly I have a free shelf on the bottom so I put all of my daughter's homeschool stuff on the bottom. So that has already made a huge difference. I'm super happy and I might actually head back and grab a few more of these little locker boxes. The third area of my house that's been driving me crazy forever is my daughter's closet. My two girls share a room and even though this closet looks like it's super functional, it's a really nice built-in, we're not using it to its full potential and really everything just kind of gets thrown in there. I bought these little white baskets. I love them because they looked like they kind of had a nice little pattern. They're kind of textured. And because I brought my measuring tape to the store, I knew that it would be able to fit two perfectly across on each of the shelves. So I'm dividing up some of the stuff that we're currently keeping here in the baskets and then I'm going to put it on the shelf. As I'm doing this, I'm formulating huge plans in my mind to bring more of these baskets in and really get this closet organized. But for now, in five minutes, this has made a huge difference. The next area I'm going to organize is our downstairs powder room vanity. We keep quite a bit of stuff in here because I'm often doing my daughter's hair in the morning downstairs. So we keep all of their hair bows, hair ties, and then I also have things like nail clippers, tweezers, things you'll kind of need on a daily basis, and then suntan lotions. Right now this drawer is a total mess. I found these different size containers. I don't love that they don't match, but they're going to work really well in these spaces. And so just putting containers in, even though the drawer is already divided, just helps everything stay contained and organized a little bit nicer. I love the way this looks and now instead of throwing things haphazardly into the drawer, each item has its own special place to go. For my own bathroom vanity, I like to keep this area super decluttered and simple. It really helps me get ready quickly in the morning and not have to search through everything for the stuff that I'm using every day. 
but even with the dividers and the little bit of organization I have going on here, sometimes things do tend to still get a little bit lost and cluttered. For my own bathroom, I decided to level up and I bought these really nice clear organizers. This one's for my makeup. And then I bought these other two clear bins just because they kind of matched. So here is my drawer. As I'm organizing my makeup into this new container, I'm decluttering. I always like to go through things whenever I'm cleaning, throw out stuff I'm not using, or if it's old, expired, or it's just something I can donate or just throw in the garbage. I love this new system for my makeup. I can already see everything so much easier. I'm gonna put all of my skincare stuff and my face creams in the second one, and then that's all there. I love how they look and I can tell it's really gonna make it look polished and finished if I get a couple more to put the rest of that stuff in. Wow, so that was a huge difference for five spaces in my house that were really driving me crazy. I am kind of afraid I've created a monster now because I have this serious urge to go back to the dollar store and get more bins and organize everything and make everything look pretty. And I think I might do that because I really do feel like it might cut down on the amount of things that kind of lose their way around our house or feel like they don't have a proper home. I especially like what I did in my bathroom. I think it's gonna make my morning routine and my getting ready routine even faster than it already is. I like to cut out the clutter and only have the essentials in there and now I can see everything really clearly. I think that's gonna be awesome. So thank you so much for joining me as I organized a few of the spaces in my house. I have a funny feeling this is probably gonna become a more regular occurrence on this channel. So if you wanna see some more organizing and decluttering of my spaces, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you very soon. Bye bye.